All right, guys, welcome back. This is a new normal. Today we are playing Airships Conquer the Skies. This is episode three. You might be asking yourself, why are you here looking at the screen? Well, I'll tell you why. Today we're going to be looking into all the ships and we're going to uh, see if they're actually as good as I think they are. Now, we're going to watch the scene for a little bit longer, see if all the good parts happen, and then we're going to get into it. Um, keep in mind, this is a post-recording of the audio, so I know everything that happens, but you don't. Should make it interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's about time. I don't care. Like and subscribe. If you want to see more, uh, comment, comment, comment. Comment, um, in this video, it's going to be 50-50, so it's going to be half of us testing our capabilities, and then another 30 minutes. Uh, actually in the campaign mode, so, you know, I say this, we're gonna be making a, I'm not gonna, I'm trying to use a word that doesn't give off a lot of detail, so it's a surprise, or surprising to you guys who actually care to watch through the whole video, but near the end, um, we make a pretty, pretty cool vehicle, and I don't have a name for it. Please comment, 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 or if you're strong enough, make it through the whole entire video. Um, yeah, um, it's a very cool vehicle, it does need a name, One, if someone comments a name, that'll be the name. Uh, if there's more than one people, then you know what, whoever has the best name will win. Not only that, but guess what else needs names, those towns in Harsmouth. I don't like saying that word. Give me a new name, please. Alright. I wanna see this guy explode. Then we can head out. Um It's gonna split in half because if you remember me, it's blocky, very funny. Very silly. Alright, right about that should be about time. Look at that floating thing. <laughs> Alright, so basically here's the setup. We're gonna have four bats. Basically, they have the highest or one of the higher cap ceilings. They have one dorsal turret on the bottom, I believe. That's what it's called. Let's save this, and that's gonna be the prereq for every battle. All right, welcome to our first battle. This battle is of Biter, which is our um, boarding vessel uh, against how many you get? Yeah, four bats. Uh, bat ones. Uh, here, um, it's a derpy little ship. It has is equipped with a harpoon, um, and borders. That's all of its arsenal. But what it loses in strength, it makes up in costs. It has a medium flight ceiling, which you know is decent. Can't ask for everything, but it's very fast. Um, fortunately you won't see it in this little bit because I left it to the AI to figure out what to do and they don't really know how to use borders or this one did it understand how to use a shark looking thing so yeah um but no this guy's very fast very quick um it's cheap actually it's a very cheap item which I would heavily I would recommend if you Went to go to the Steam Workshop. Oh, that's a fun little thing. Forgot to announce. I got these guys up on the Steam Workshop. So if you got this game, Airships Conquer the Skies, and you want to, oh, there he is. He used the harpoon. Um, that's just a sad fight. He's gonna explode. It's gonna be a funny fight, though. That's, this is gonna be a funny one. You, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, also, see what I mean by fast? This is just normal speed. Alright, um, but no, listen, uh, we got the Steam Workshop page open up for all the vehicles in the campaign, except the new one, because it needs a name. As soon as it gets a name, we might upgrade it in the next video, just a teeny, see, we see a little bit more, but, yeah, give it a name, if you make it to that point. Uh, but no, everything's on Steam Workshop, I'll put a link in the description to the, our, uh, homepage. Yeah, and maybe you want to take the Zeppelinator out for a walk. 
because uh, it's a funny ship. You'll see later on what I mean by it. You wouldn't think it does well, but you'll see. Now, basically, m that last battle wasn't very fair because it didn't use the border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change sides so the AI gets the bats while we get the biter. <laughs> yeah. You could probably figure out why it's called biter. Um, it's not a big brain teaser or anything. He, he's just, it looks like a shark, and that's why we call it Biter. Um, yeah. Name Harsmuth. Name those towns. Name of the new ship. Comment, comment, comment. Not gonna stop saying that until you guys comment what you've been doing. Pretty epic. Alright. Um, seems like a pretty fair fight. Alright. Now let's just place down Biter. And let's go. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Harpoon. Go. Hit, hit, we got hit. All right. Now we just gotta slowly wait for our time to board. Yeah, if you download this ship, here's a thing I recommend you doing. This is a very fast ship, but what one problem it has is this. it. It's a uh, it's sail it keeps on getting shut off, and not only that, but it has enough crew to take over a ship if the ship doesn't have any guards guarding it. So basically, what that means is. If it hits 50% of the ships, it will be able to capture. But, like, it doesn't very much fare well against ground based units. So, I'd suggest getting two of them in your fleet. Not only that, because you'll see why. Because we run out of borders. But you'll see in a couple of seconds. We're trying to board their ship. They're on side of our ship. I don't know if I put it outside mode. Probably don't. But, yeah. I try to get myself right next to that ship so we can put our borders on. See, we hit cap ceiling, hit their cap ceiling, and you see our borders should be, yeah, see, they're right there. Now, these guys don't have any barracks or guards, I guess, to do their best. We put them, so this ship, basically, we got, we got in the bag. All right, ship in the bag. Now, the problem is we can't board any other ship, uh, so, yeah, I'd say, I'd say you should probably get two ships, uh, two fighters, because you can conquer two ships, and basically that's all you need. That's all you'll ever need. Um, two enemy ships. Besides, pull them in, you can strip them down. Actually, pretty cool part of the game. If you capture their ships, you can just uh, save their brute blueprints. So you can examine them, see their weakness, and you can basically strip them from money. Now, you remember this ship, Biter, while we are making it. I don't remember if we made it together, or I just cut the video, but there's about three suspendium chambers. Well, now there's none. <laughs> Well, I guess it's more of a support vehicle. On to the next one. Blocky. <laughs> this one was pretty decent starting out, but now it's more of a yikes. Equipped with a crow's nest, a grape shot, a ballista, and a normal cannon. It can do some damage. But I can only do some damage to a light tier vehicle. And for what it's worth, I would I don't think you should get it. It's like I said, it's a flying block. It was one of our first designs. I think I made it after we made mover. I'm not quite sure what the ballista excels at, but I know it has a pretty good uh, speed. Not as fast as a cannon, but you know, it's better than a missile. 
I guess really if you were to get this thing, you would um you would uh want it because it's basically all stuff from tier one, I guess. Um Yeah. It it catches on fire though, it's a, that's a big problem. That's a big problem we have, it catches on fire. No, these it doesn't have a good height ceiling and You'll basically see. There's flaws in the ship. I think we should discontinue the ship, if I'm being completely honest. But no. I'll. I'll let the battle rage. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it. I think it would be a waste of time to ch try to change anything. Yeah, I think this is it. We, we should discontinue the ship. I don't know if you think so. Leave in the comments. Look at this guy's suspending chamber. Alright, now, yeah, this guy always seems to blow up with great fireworks. Alright. I guess this ship. I'm, I'm trying to think inside my head. What does that ship excel at? Cause no, I don't know. Well, let's see if this guy's uh, suspension chamber blows up. Hopefully he does. That'd be a cool sight to see. Yeah, check that one out. That's pretty cool. That's a cool shot. That's a cool part about this game. The ships are super in depth. I think I just that that's one part that I really like about the game. I think that's what really gets me. Man, this thing taking the uh, sky island with him. Now, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I could do to fix Lockheed. It's really hard to say. I don't know if there is a way to fix Blocky. I think it's better just to abandon the design in general. Maybe we should refit it. I don't know. Maybe That's in the comments. Very very fun. No, see that? That's a great shot. That was a cool shot. That was, that was a great shot. Um, I think grape shot's pretty cool. Not a lot of people know what grape shot is or what it was used for. Um, if you do know, then congratulations. You know something most people don't. Grape shot. <laughs> it's a wacky thing. Victory. Doesn't feel like a victory. Grape shot basically it's like this. Alright, no, before we say that, movers, movers, great ships. Alright, great ships. We were able to buy three of them. These guys are absolute mad lads. I 110% recommend use them for your campaign. They have a cannon, they have two rifles on the front, and they have one rear rifle. You'll see in this footage, these guys are absolute mad lads. They like can go fast, can go far. I say use them have great range great accuracy and the front end can get blown off but they have ammo in the rifle in just the right place where they could actually survive they have great uh, life expectancy what's that it looks like a comb all right anyways um the note 110 percent recommend 110 percent recommend um you'll see in this battle this is a very very cool battle, let's just say. Now, is it? you'll see, um, these guys basically, I personally believe, are a great starting unit, like, 
they basically have all stuff they have starting out in the campaign yet the design is I, in my eyes pretty much flawless the only thing that I could add to make it maybe a little bit better was a um, was a guards uh, a guard post which would mean that there would be two guards inside of it so therefore making it irresistible or the the sorry I don't know if you can hear it there's a police siren in the background very epic police um no um, but look at how much damage they're doing and look at this they're they're just not dying not dying um I think the movers have like a decent amount of re repair and resupply but yeah Forget what I was talking about before the police siren. I don't, I don't know. I was just brand and rave about how the movers are the absolute move, absolute gamers move. They're very cheap though. Oh, I know what I was talking about. Adding a guard post. Basically, that means that basically orders would have a tough time because like we said if it's just mountain moraine post you, they're, they're not getting through you know that we saw it it there's just it's just not happening now you see here watch this so you see that guy you'll see eventually in a couple of seconds i would say maybe a minute uh that guy is uh i think that's what's all the the I think that's what all the exploding is in the background. That guy's front end gets blown off. And yeah, there it is. You see, it's just a back problem. Because there's a suspending chamber, there's a uh, propeller, and then there's this rifle. And also ammo. So that's a funny part. And there's also enough guys left. It's funny because it can just act like a ship on its own. And that's why I think this is the ultimate ship. Maybe a guard plus more would help, but you know. Now, there's two bats already down for the count. I'm saying this one's gonna go down. Because look, it's on fire. Another one of its wings are gonna get exploded. And all of them are starting to run out of ammo, really. Yeah, that or their guns are being shot off. That's a big problem here. But no, see the movers? The movers have it in the bag. Now look at that big cloud of smoke. You might not be able to see it, but there's a fully functional mover. Alright, yeah. This game's pretty beautiful for being so simple. Yeah, alright. Um, but no, um, there's a dogfight mode in multiplayer where I believe it's 500, 500, 600, 700 dollars or less, and you go in and you fight with your ship, you only get one, you only get that much money. And the idea is that uh, the idea is you have to take control of it. You have to use tactics. You have to do all of that. Now, I think if I was to do that, I would use Mover because it costs six hundred and forty something. So it's if it's a seven hundred competition, I would definitely think Mover would be my choice because it's it's basically invulnerable to everything. But no, we won. Uh, if you look. It says to people, it's not. Alright, here's Zeppelinator. One of my, one of our capital ships. And what I mean by capital, it means it, it's a ship based off of our capital city. Zeppelin Sting? Sting? I don't know. I, I gotta, gotta do some more research about our own empire. <laughs> Zeppelin Sting Um, comes with, it's a blimp with two guys in blimps. And it has four rifles on the front side. It has a very high... Uh, maximum flight ceiling and I'm gonna say this it's overpowered I'm gonna say it again it's overpowered like in this scenario all right let me let me give you the breakdown those two guys basically have something that damage far more than those rifles all right not only that but the bats don't have any rifles of them own or of themselves and the problem with that is well it's hard to describe but 
Those guys can only be shot down by rifles, muskets, uh, I guess flak, those machine guns, basically those type of rifles. Uh, these big dorsal turrets or cannons, um, can't really shoot them down on their own. So that's why they are overpowered. Um, the Zeppelinator on themselves. Zeppelinator on its own. It's uh, overpowered because of the rifles. Now you're gonna be saying blah 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 blah. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. The suspendium chambers with dust tanks. I think they're using dust tanks. The difference between dust tanks and suspendium chambers is suspendium chambers are the bigger versions. I believe they have more health. I think. Yeah. But yo, oh, they can be penetrated by rifle very easily and then just blow up. Now, the the bats dorsal turrets on the bottom of the ship. There's no weapons on top because they're really banking on the fact that they're gonna have the height advantage. So now we have the height advantage and we have something that can destroy the other ships because there's a weakness that they have. Not only that, but we can have accurate fire. If you do the math, this ship wins this scenario every time because they can't shoot at us. We can shoot at them and we can shoot at them and kill a lot of them for very little ammo. It's just a good scenario. Not only that, but we have unlimited up, I guess I'd want to describe, up and down um, because of the suspendium chamber. You don't need more coal for that, and also you don't burn coal if your propeller is not work. Which I mean, it kind of is always because, like we said with the rifle, um, I don't know if that was this video or not, but the in this game there's good physics, and lots of it, and basically the rifles and guns push you back, and then. The propellers have to push you forward because there's actual push and stuff. It's, it's a very cool in-depth game for wh what you might think. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. We uh, win. The Zeppelin Aether wins every time. In this scenario. Now... I don't know. I don't know if this thing's really worth it. I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about the Zeppelinator. Zeppelinator is definitely worth it. But I don't know if the bats are worth it because it, they seem like a good idea, but they just aren't. All right. Now you know what I hear a question that I have about the suspendium chambers. If they're inside of a chamber and there's nothing you can do, it's basically like a balloon, like a birthday balloon. How do you move up and down? Think about that. Because you're holding a balloon and you can't let go of a balloon, so no matter what, you're holding on to a balloon. How do you go up and down? You'd say, well, release the helium on the balloon. Which I guess would work, but then how would you go up again? Put more helium in the balloon. So you're telling me that you're holding that suspendium, which is basically helium, inside the ship, which would also make the ship fly. It needs basically infinite resource. A flight? I don't think so. I don't know. They didn't really describe it, but we won. It says defeat. But no, it was a splendid victory. I I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. Alright, now to the fort bolt. The portable fort, equipped with a telescope, which I put on, three rifles and a rocket, plus a triplane, and a Cronus. Two tracks, and that's up in two sponsons, something that you don't see because they hide into the skin very well. Um, this thing is a one heck of a portable fort, I'll tell you that. Um, it's basically, I'd like to call it, probably one of the better ships in the arsenal. You probably want one or two of these per fleet. 
Like the Zeppelinator is like our capital ship and it's a pun because it's about our capital. But I know you need about three of them and the point of capital ships is you only need one. But no, the affordables, you only need two of these to do really good. Like, it's hard to tell what might be the best, what will be the best weapon on the affordable, whether it be this, the rocket, which you'll definitely see in, in the early battle, but you won't, you'll see a lot more in the later battle and it's actually very f cool to watch because this thing point blank uh the bats and with the rocket and it's just it's like the cool cooler part about the the cooler part about these like uh testing and fighting ones where if i would have to put these guys and line them up i think this, well, the front scene, the first couple seconds in the front scene was a pretty cool battle. Movers, uh, well, the first scene comes first, um, then the this one, then the dumb things, then the Zeppelinator, then the movers. That's my top five battles of this. Then uh, just to put them down, I'd say wider than blocky, and that's all of the ones. That we got for this fighting section. This is the second to last one. Um, the try playing fighting. Uh, like I said, they see see what I mean. The guy just got point blank. Watch that! Watch that! It's just cool to watch. And also, the coolest part about this is that the tracks move back and forth. So that's it has the advantage of basically being able to do the whole entire ship out. So. I think the affordable might be better than any stationary thing, but I do believe that it has a higher upkeep cost. Probably has a higher upkeep cost. Yeah, probably. Um, but I think it's well worth it. Like, I basically we made the. We made the affordable, like, um, I mean, we made the dumb thing like the affordable, like, when we refitted it, we literally tried to make it like an affordable, with, like, the rocket, the Swanson guns, and as much accuracy as possible. Alright. So this battle got over. Um, Fortable got one more track left. Um, despite being limited to the ground, it's very mobile. Yeah. Alright. These guys are about out of ammo. Now, if you look, later on in this battle, you'll see the last thing that it's actually fighting, as you just saw right there, was the Sponson. That's probably one of the best parts about the thing. So the aircraft can die. Well, the aircraft, I think, is a sacrifice about this vehicle. But no, the Sponsons are the killers. Alright, welcome to the last thing of our trial. This is the dumb thing. I put it on our side just to see it work. Uh, there is about... Um, six rifles on the back, one rifle on the front, one Sponson on the front, and one big boy missile, plus a rear turret on the front. This thing is very beefy, and let's watch it at work. Alright, put this in a slower speed. Come on, come on, come on. I forget... It's been a while since the recording, because I recorded this, or the day of I posting it, I recorded this footage last night. I wanted to post it last night, but I was able to get good audio on it, so you're getting it today. Um, no. 
Um, you'd think the rocket would do a lot more wonders against the suspendium tanks, but which they don't. So that's where the rock or the rifles come in use because the rifles just, as you just saw right there, just shred open the suspendium chambers, which I like when our guys do very good. Boom. All right, that's one guy down. I think maybe uh, you'll see at the end of the video there's a pirate camp that we destroyed. It was a hard fight, not gonna lie, it was a hard fight. But we got lots of cash from it, like lots of cash. So I think we're gonna be some, we're gonna do some refitting in the next episode. You'll see that. Now the biggest luck part of it is when this rocket um i believe it blows up so you see that there's a fire going on in this thing the rocket they, sh they shoot the rocket and then the rocket launching area blows up that's one of the biggest luckiest things about it because if the rock goes in there while it blows up yeah the whole thing blows up because it's a big boil of rocket now now the dumb thing is almost out of ammo. It's almost out of repairs, because if you look at the bar, we're fully out of repairs, we're almost out of ammo. I don't know. I think... I think we did a good job. But no, see? The... There's no rocket inside of the... Dumb thing, so it definitely helped us out a bit. But victory, see? It was a victory because I said it was a victory. Now we're gonna go to the campaign for the second part of the video. We're in the campaign, boom. Zeppelinston. Zeppelinstenberg. Wow. I like it though. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so them guys gonna go over there to the. Alliance, which keeps on failing for some reason. Let's go do something interesting. Let's hit that invade. I want to build a ship so you guys can name it in the comments because that's how nice I am. Please remember, type a comment for a name of Harsmith. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a fun battle. Um, let's, let's put you in the back. That's the thing that we captured big gun on the middle of it come on come on come on all right move you as high as possible okay let's start I wanted to capture that base because if I'm thinking and you know, I'm thinking straight then wouldn't it be no I don't want to move the mover no I don't want to move this I want to move you Alright, so if I'm thinking straight, then wouldn't it cost us less money in the long run if we just went down there and just captured it ourselves? Like, think about it. We won't have to build a base and it'll just be maintenance. Maybe a little bit repair, but it would save so much money. So I think that's what we're going to do. So our, our triplane, if it doesn't get shot down, which you just did. <sighs> You know, this is the last thing of the Stinks Empire, which is kind of cringe. <laughs> Slowly does it. Slowly does it. Don't. Just nick it. Just nick it. Wow, that thing gets shot every time. Every time it gets shot. Now let's board that bad Larry. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. That looked relatively close. How are they getting out there? Oh, isn't that cool? There's a hole. Isn't that cool? That's cool. That's the thing I like about it. And look, in the wing, Hussers came in. Alright, this is epic. Come on, boys. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Alright. Internal view. 
Doesn't look like there's a guard post. Does not look like there's a guard post. Which, I have to say, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, where are we? Look at that, look at that group. Look at those guys. They got flint locks and everything. And like the funniest part about it is that we're still attacking this. We're still attacking um this base. Alright, come on, come on. Any second now, any second, I'm telling you. Yay! We did it. Huzzah. Dilly dilly. Another word for excitement, thrill, class. I don't know, just I in my pain. All right, victory. We gained the building. Epic. Gentle takeover. Let's move our boys back. They look like they need repairs. All right, come on. Um. No, let's not move them back. Let's just keep them there. Computers, yay! Researching guidance system. Um, what were we researching? Oh yeah, the guided missiles. That's gonna be so fun. If we get some, if we get enough money, I want to make something with them. Maybe the new ship with them. What else can we get? Hmm. No. Yeah, I don't know. Um. What else is on the table? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. I think I think we're good as we are. Oh no. Someone's attacking R. Vaccine Force is attacking R. Hey, speaking of R, I'm not gonna say that name because I don't know how to say it. Please leave a comment. Please leave a comment I of a name for it. I just want to say it. Just leave that name down there and say new name comment that name i will literally name that because i just need some new name for it comment 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 all right let's battle um do you have enough boarding troops no it doesn't look like, any like anyone's going to board oh well let's put you in reserve yeah you do look like you got shot up quite the bit Let's move with their vehicle. Let's compute. This is gonna be so confusing for them, and that's gonna be the funniest part. It's like, bro, wait, you're on our side. Am I? Question mark. But no, watch this. This is gonna be all confusion. Maybe I want to ram this ship into them. That'd be funny if we ram that ship into them. All right. No, don't move. Ram. All right, boys, ramming speed. Oh yeah. Come on, push them to the ground, boys. Push them to the ground. Push them to the ground. Oh, there we go. There, boom. They're down. Down for the count. All right, boys, just hold them there, pin them there. Don't move an inch. Alright, see, look, we got free reign. Uh oh, what happened? We're on fire. I believe we're almost dead. Don't die, that's stupid. Why would you ever die? Don't please don't die. Well, they can definitely die. I think this battle's going a little bit better than I thought. Alright, everyone caught on fire and everyone died. It's kind of sad, but it really isn't. Victory is ours. Well, we lost our own ship that we took from them, so I guess that's about that's about right. Oh no, Vaxon Ford's coming to Quill. You know what? We captured that base. I don't care. I don't care what they do. I don't care. Alright. Now we're into this battle. I'll just hit start. Someone's coming into our eyes. I don't know. Maybe I'll cut it for you because I'm not letting them take over this base. I already took care and square. I think I might just cut the video if it comes to anything. 
just so you guys don't have to watch this mess. Yeah. This look at this is just a one-way battle. This is just bullying. All right. I think I might cut it. Yeah. I think I might cut it. Nah. I don't know. This isn't quite intriguing content. Now is it? This is not groundbreaking. But no, I cut it for you guys. You're welcome. It came to a draw. Um, what does that mean? Well, it means that we didn't lose the land, but they didn't lose their ship. So, as soon as we take it over all the way, we're gonna repair their defenses and stuff. Well, speaking of repairs, let's repair it as much as we can. Also, this thing, we need to refit it. And you're gonna be like, to what? Well, if you notice, that ship had four rifles. This one has three because it adds the telescope for increased accuracy. Um, yeah, I guess just should we move? No. Yeah, I don't know. Defenses over there. Yeah, they're doing quite well. Yeah, let's just speed it up. All right. Quill is almost... Oh, right, there it is. With the income of seven, we're gonna put so many towers down there that their town can never pay for the defenses. All right, let's put down a dumb thing. No, how about a silent watcher? That seems like a good idea. That seems like only a good idea. Because we know that silent watcher finesses the empire um, of Faxon Ford. Oh no, blah blah blah, sabotage, great pillars, uh, and quill. Oh no. How unfortunate. Wink wink. I guess I'll just wait. Oh, no. Don't attack our. Please stop. Alright, you're gonna get there before we can get there. <sighs> okay, uncontested defeat. Oh no. And then we're here now. We're gonna move you back. And we're gonna capture your ship. Because we don't respect people like you. It might be one heck of a fight. But it's gonna be a fight. Alright. Launching tether. Latched on. Boom. Now don't shoot down our... Try plan and do not shoot down our hussars. It'd also be funny if our guys didn't shoot us with their rockets. Now get ready to board. Get ready to board. 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 Quick, boys. Just get on the that ship and get inside of it, take it over, do whatever. Just jump, just jump, just jump, just jump, just jump. Alright, come on. Yay, we're inside of their ship. Hopefully they don't got guards close inside of there. Let's I like watching the hussars outside. We have control of the vanguard. Oh yeah guys. I like taking their ships because I know it messes with them because there's just some blood boiling in their veins when every time we take their ship. Let's repair that and also the biter because the biter has to get injured every fight. Um, what now? Think. What should we do now? Oh no! Wait, no, that place has the uh, silent watchers, right? And uh, whatever, let's move those guys down, anyways. What? Wait, wait, what? Clockwork wasp. The swarm of clockwork wasp has constructed a hive here. The fly mechanical terror is now. Where? Where did? Where do you see the wasps? I don't see the wasps. 
If someone can point to me out where the wasps are, I will fight them, I guess. I, I just can't see them. Alright. But no, the sun's in their eyes means that they have reduced accuracy. And also we got that tower that just finesses them. Because they won't be using the smart, the smart, smart AI against us. No, no. They'll use the stupid AI because they're stupid, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Um, I guess, I don't know why there's some weird audio glitches. I don't know why there's weird audio glitches. I don't know why. I, I honestly don't know why. I don't know what's so glitchy. I think it might be the fire. I don't know. Victory! Yay! Do you guys need repairing? No? Question mark? Alright, let's move you back to Harsmouth, get you in the center, and I, I think Harsmouth is great and stuff. How about let's do something fun and get you to that shell walker and let's finally take care of him once and for all. Once and for all. Alright, sound good, sound good, everything good. Everything good. Everything good. Shell Walker. Um. I think everything would be pretty funny. Everything's pretty good. Alright. Um. Let's, uh, see here. <coughs> that hurts. That hurts a lot. I don't understand. What is this thing? Uh-oh. 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 <coughs> that is... Looks like it hurts. That looks like it hurts. That looks like it hurts. Boy, is it lagging now. Boy, is it lagging now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Is it lagging now or what, boys? We need to... We need to pop out of here. Uh-oh. Let's leave this place. Uh, we'll come back another day. I don't know how to take care of that. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's go repair everything, I guess. Uh, oh no, they're going to R. Let's click to intercept. But wait, we gotta repair everyone, though. Can I do it with one biter and one mover? I'm skeptical. I don't know if I can. Oh well, who says we can't? Let's go do it. <sighs> Hopefully this works out. Okay. Ugh, yikes, alright. Slow this down to microseconds. I want you to tether that bad Larry. Like it's nobody's business. Alright, mover, I want you to get up front and center. Right underneath us. So we have a direct line of fire. Oh no, they're trying to go beneath us. That's not going to work out, unfortunately, because we tethered you. Let's wait to board. Let's wait to board. Let's wait to board. Okay, now we can board. Oh, we can board. No, I don't want to transfer. I want to board. Alright, get our boys on that ship. I don't know if we can take it or not. Man, is it lagging now? Tell you what, that's a meaty lag. A meaty lag. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Man. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, boys. So apparently I found out that you probably don't see the lag, but I do because I found out that it's actually okay. So how I'm doing this uh, post uh, recording is this: I got an audio thing separate from the actual editing, and there's an air police car. All right, um, I got this audio recorder um, separate to the actual editing thing. And this editing thing is actually loading, it's not actually lagging. That's why the audio comes with it. So it's actually not the gameplay lagging. Now the biggest problem is, I figured that about right now. Like, right about now. So, I'm gonna be precisely a little bit ahead. Because, yeah, I'm gonna be a couple of seconds ahead. I don't know how that that quite works um like right now i put myself i'm keep on pausing and unpausing myself because um i don't know something's going to fly i think i have to make shorter episodes yeah well i'm gonna have to set a timer now but you know what let's screw it let's 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 let this work for this episode hopefully i can let this fly you're gonna hear my voice uh be a little bit in front of the video but that should be good all right let's go build this new ship all right all right all right now I cut the video for you guys. all right so I cut the video and the whole point of cutting the video was so you would not know anything about this new ship now basically what's in it it's basically a small little ship great accuracy lots of Swansons outside um, rocket, internal rocket, and that's about it. Um, yeah. Not the best surface ceiling, though. Not the best surface ceiling. Alright. Let's go, let's go defend Quill. No, wait, wait, it should be good. It should be good. In theory, it should be good. It should be good. Because we just finessed the system. Alright. Yeah. I, I don't know. I probably gotta reset my system to stop this from happening again. Alright. Yeah, but no, it seems like a pretty simple cookie cutter battle. Seems like <clears throat> this should be done in seconds. That should be done right about now. Alright, that's a good old victory. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Alright, let's go repair that bad lad. Matt, bad Larry. Let's take our... Let's take our new ship out for a walk, shall we? I got bombers, that's epic. Uh, let's take our new ship out for a walk. Um, let's go attack that. Let's go take back R. It's not gonna be a fight, or maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Hopefully it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it back. Let's make it a fight worth watching, and it's an uncontested victory. Wow. Oh well. At least the Northern Alliance are getting some ground. Let's go take over that town. I don't see that going bad. No, wait, there's a pirate base? What? Alright, um... Let's go take down this pirate base, because that seems like it's gonna be fun. That seems fun. Alright, 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 alright. <sighs> oh, dear. This thing doesn't have the best surface ceiling. But you guys gotta find out a name for it. You guys gotta find out a name for it. All right, boom, bang, bop. Throwing them rockets upwards, Cra pretty crazy, right? Right, yeah. Now, I wonder, I'm just wondering, to myself, to myself. Whew. Okay, it's all right. Ships shouldn't be a problem. The 
ship shouldn't be a problem. I think this unit's more of a... I think the no-name is more of a bunker-busting unit. Because... I feel like that could be true, because there's so many uh, sponsors on it. Like, for real. It should be. There, there should be. And because it should be, we'll make it so. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I guess it's really better I'm trying to make this work. It's very hard to juggle the time. It's very much uh, glitchy and laggy. I definitely gotta do shorter episodes, so my voice is gonna be a little bit behind, a little bit forward throughout this whole entire thing. Alright. Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna not provide any commentary, I think, during this fight. Because the fight's pretty much over. Um, yeah. We all know how it's gonna work out. We all know. It's pretty predictable. I'm just gonna say that. It's, a, it's gonna be not such the hardest fight in the world. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Um, let's retreat this guy back. He doesn't have lots of ammo, I presume. Let's put forwardable forward. Let's put forwardable forward. Um. Ooh, there's, there's nothing we can do but wait. Nothing we can do but wait. Nothing we can do but wait. Isn't that true? Uh, well, I mean, that's not true. We could, we could take the Zeppelin here. Take Zeppelinator down to the brawl. Watch out on the Zeppelin. Yikes. <laughs> well, hopefully, don't go boom soon. Hopefully, the base goes boom soon. Just speed it up. Speed it up. is ours good yay look boom big cash big cash big cash all right that's epic that is epic uh, well I definitely do think that um, we should probably refit some things probably put them things for repairs we could probably put a kid through college with that much I don't know Um, I guess meet these two guys, put them in one fleet, let's get some repairs going on, that sounds like a solid idea, we don't really care about enemy spies, I, don't, I know I don't, um, we got lots of money in the bank, let's uh, Let's use that for Fun Day Saturday. Fun Day Saturday, we'll use the money. I know. Let's look over our empire that we have built together. Goodbye. This is the nor new normal. Signing out. Bye bye.